Hello Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over the most frequently asked questions about the National Park Service. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Like I said earlier, in today's video, I'll be answering the most frequently asked questions about the National Park Service. This includes fun, interesting, boring, random questions, all of these that are frequently asked that either I have seen or I've taken off the official FAQ page of the National Park Service. I'll be answering all of these questions and I will leave so many links in the description down below where you can find more answers, more questions, just more info in general about the National Park Service. And if you still have unanswered questions about the National Park Service, be sure to leave them in the comments box down below and I will answer them if I know the answer. But without further ado, let's get on to these questions about the National Park Service. Okay, let's go in with question numero uno. Who is the director of the National Park Service? The current director of the National Park Service as of 2021 is Sean Benj, and he is the director of operations and is exercising his delegated authority over the director of the National Park Service. And question number two is, what government agency oversees the National Park Service? We know the National Park Service is part of the government, but what part in particular? The National Park Service, or NPS, is a bureau of the Department of the Interior. Directly overseeing its operation is the Department's Assistant Secretary for Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. And question number three is, how many employees work for the National Park Service? It's a very good question. If we're talking about permanent, temporary, and seasonal employees, that is about 20,000 people. If we're talking about volunteers, that is almost 300,000 volunteers that work for the National Park Service. And the next question is, how old is the National Park Service? Well, the NPS was founded by President Woodrow Wilson on August 25th, 1916, making 2016 its centennial birthday, which makes 2021 its 105th birthday. However, just because the National Park Service was founded in 1916 doesn't mean there were more national parks beforehand. The very first national park in the United States and the world was Yellowstone National Park. And this was founded on March 1st, 1872 by President Ulysses S. Grant. And the next question generally is summed up as, what's up with the National Park Service's logo? The iconic National Park Service arrowhead is a logo that represents the national parks. The arrowhead shape represents the history and culture protected by the national parks. The sequoia tree and the buffalo represent the vegetation and the wildlife. And the mountain and the lake represent the scenic landscape and recreational activities that can be enjoyed inside the NPS. Next question would be, how many national parks are there? Well, there are over 400 different units. The exact number as of right now in 2021 is 423. These areas include national parks, national monuments, national battlefields, national military parks, national historic parks, national historic sites, lake shores, seashores, recreation areas, scenic rivers, national trails, and the White House. Yeah, the White House is just its own national park unit. <laughs> And the next questions kind of go hand in hand. What is the biggest national park and what is the smallest national park? Well, the biggest national park is Wrangell St. Elias National Park. This is found, I bet, fairly obviously in Alaska. And it is 13.2 million acres. That is like several states big. <laughs> In comparison, the smallest national park site is Thaddeus Kozico National Memorial, located in Pennsylvania, and it is only 0.02 acres. <laughs> what a size difference. And the next question would be, how many visitors does the National Park Service get? Now, obviously, in 2020 and 2021, the visitors have been affected severely by the little panoramic. But in 2019, the visitor numbers were... 327,516,619. 
The most visited national park sites in order from greatest to least include Blue Ridge Parkway, Golden Gate National Recreation Area, Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Gateway National Recreation Area, Lake Mead National Recreation Area, George Washington Memorial Parkway, Natchitoches Trace Parkway, Chesapeake and Ohio Canal National Historic Park, Cape Cod National Seashore, and Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area. Hint, most of these are roads or parkways or super close to big cities, which is how they're able to get as many visitors as they do. Again, in 2020, in order, the most visited actual national parks are Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Yellowstone National Park, Zion National Park, Rocky Mountain National Park, Grand Teton National Park, Grand Canyon National Park, Cuyahoga Valley National Park, Acadia National Park, Olympic National Park, and Joshua Tree National Park. Again, most of these national parks are either incredibly famous famous as landmarks in the United States or located next to big cities. The next question is, what is the National Park Service's budget? Now this changes sometimes depending on the year, but as of 2017, the enacted fiscal year National Park Service budget was $2.932 billion. <laughs> Now, another question that is frequently asked is where can I find a National Park Service map? You can find these either by picking one up when you visit a national park, or you can go to literally my favorite website ever in which you can find literally any national park map and just print it out. I will leave it linked in the description down below. What about pets? Can I bring my pet to a national park? Uh, well, that kind of depends. Yes and no. Some national parks, you totally can. Bring your pet, walk your dog, although it should be on a leash. Other national parks, it's a solid no. If they are a service animal legally, they are allowed in any national park, although you might need to talk to a ranger beforehand. How can I get a job at national parks or how can I volunteer? You can either go to the specific national parks page and apply there or go to usajobs.gov and search up for it there. It'll all be on those websites. And finally, how can I find a national park site near me? There are three options. You can either go to the National Park Service's official website, search for it by state. You can go to findyourpark.gov, search for it by state again, or you can just Google it. Uh, I'll be honest, that's kind of the easiest option here. Well, everybody, that is the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!